Hello everyone, this is Noodle, and let me start this video off by saying this is not a troll video about how I fixed Battlefield 4 by deleting it or something stupid like that. With that being said, the fix may piss some of you off, but I will try to alleviate that anger in this video as well. But I would like to say I have finally, after hours and hours and hours, fixed my personal game, and I'm going to try to teach you how to do it too. But let me start off by telling you what my problems are. I had all the normal problems everyone is having, like every single one of them. Inconsistent frames from day to day. One day I'd be running frames where I'm pretty darn happy with the next day or a week. I'd be running frames and I'm like, what the heck? Like, is my computer broken? I'm like, what the heck's going on? Constant game crashes. I mean, crashing all the time, not finishing rounds, just... You know, just making you mad. Just it's, it's infuriating. It really was. And the, the real thing was, for the system I'm running, the game wasn't even using all of my GPU and CPU's power that it should have been. That's another thing that was really just frustrating. And it got to the point where I was spending more time trying to optimize my computer to work with Battlefield 4 than to actually play Battlefield 4. It wasn't my computer. I've set many top scores on 3D Mark 11 Extreme. I've a top five score on 3D Mark 11 Extreme. So, and it consistently does that high of a performance. So it was definitely just something to do with Battlefield 4, and that was the problem. I was doing some research for the 100th time, it feels like, how to get Battlefield 4 running, how it should be with my computer, at the resolution it should be with my computer, at the frames per second it should be with my computer. And what am I running? I'm running a 4930K at 4.5 gigahertz, and I'm running multiple 780 Ti classifieds. It's a freaking beast, and it's way overkill for Battlefield 4, and it should be running this thing on retard settings really fast, and it is now. So what did I do? I came across a video how Windows 8 gives you higher frames per second in Battlefield 4, and I've got Windows 8. I've rage quit that program twice just pain in the butt so you know what I had it on one of my hard drives I got two Evo hard drives one of them had Windows 8 one of them had Windows 7 so I'm like ah screw it I'm sick of this I'm gonna boot up the hard drive with Windows 8 on it so I bit the bullet went back to Windows 8 downloaded Battlefield 4 again and oh my god it worked instantly my computer was running the game how it should. I couldn't believe it. Well, I know that may make you mad because it kind of made me mad that Windows 8 was the fix. Because like I said, I've rage quit that program twice. But this time I downloaded Windows 8.1 and later on the video I will tell you how to make Windows 8 be just like Windows 7 and you won't even know the difference. But it seriously worked for me and it has worked for me ever since. And why is Windows 8 better? What? What difference does Windows 8 make over Windows 7? I mean, it's just an operating system, don't you think? Well, this is why. The game was designed to be optimized on the Windows 8 platform. You know what? I can hear the haters right now saying, Oh yeah, a crappy game on a crappy system. What a couple. Yep, that's what I thought from the get-go too. The reason Windows 7 lags is pretty much due to DirectX 11.1. On Windows 7, it does not completely use... DirectX 11.1 with Battlefield 4. Windows 7 is said to only use certain portions of DirectX 7.1. DICE's technical director, Johan Anderson, has said this multiple times, that the Frostbite engine was fully designed to work on Windows 8, and it is optimized on that program. So it does kind of make sense that it would work the best on Windows 8. So what is DirectX? What, why does this program make the game work so much better. So basically what DirectX is, it's a collection of APIs, Application Program Interfaces. They basically tell your system how to sync with outside programs and how to interact with them. Which makes sense why Windows 7 doesn't work so well. With Windows 7 not using the complete package of DirectX 11.1, you are not going to get the best possible gaming experience. It's only using part of the program. So it's not syncing 100% correctly. So what were my results? I now have butter smooth frames. Frame rates are way better. The game is super smooth. It actually feels like BF3 did. It's amazing. I couldn't believe the difference. 
I've never really felt comfortable on Battlefield 4 like I did on Battlefield 3. It's always kind of just felt foreign to me. I cannot recommend Windows 8 enough. It is bar none the best upgrade to your computer to run the game at a higher FPS. It is better than adding another 100 megahertz to your GPU overclock. Better than adding an upper, another couple clicks to your CPU. It is better because even if you added that extra performance to your system, like I did, Windows 7 wouldn't use that performance because it doesn't totally utilize DirectX 11.1. You know what? This may not be the problem for everyone, but this is exactly the problem I was having constantly. So what is different now on my game compared to before? Well, I do some benchmarking on Parasol Storm. I take the little bird, I fly around the B flag. I find that to be the hardest benchmark on your system in Battlefield 4, and it's just a constant I can do constantly. I fly around, shoot at those buildings around B, those kind of two-story buildings, and I record my frame rate. Before, I was doing about 90 FPS on low settings, which is ridiculous for the computer I'm running. And now, I am running at ultra maxed out at 150% resolution at 110. Huge jump. If I switch it back to low settings I was running before, it's like 200 frames per second. It's, it's ridiculous. It is that much of a difference. Before, I would get like 60 frames per second on Siege of Shanghai on moderate settings, like medium settings. And if I was recording with like DX Tori or something, I'd be going down like 45 frames per second. Now, on Ultra, I'm consistent 120. It makes that much of a difference. With that all being said, that's all fine and dandy, but still, after you get out of the game, Windows 8 still sucks. So how do you make Windows 8 better? How do you make it usable? How do you not have to go through that stupid start menu every two seconds and just sit there confused trying to look for something, one of your programs on the dumb start menu? Well, what I did is I went online and I searched for one of the aftermarket non-Windows start bars. The classic start bars. I downloaded the classic shell start bar, and I tell you what, I can't tell the difference between Windows 7 and Windows 8. It looks the same, it feels the same, unless I kind of scroll over one portion of the screen where that kind of Windows 8 search thing comes up, it's no different. My computer is working perfectly with it, I've had no problems, and I can use all my programs like I did before. I hope you guys take this advice seriously, this will help you guys. I think if more people start using Windows 8, the game as a whole, as a whole like community, will start working better because I recognize now I don't have as many problems with like the net code problems where I'm getting killed behind cover. It's a theory, but I think that maybe because when I'm shooting at people or getting shot up by other people with Windows 8, it's actually working correctly. So maybe if the community as a whole upgrades to Windows 8, Maybe we can actually get the game to work right. I know DICE is probably working on these problems, trying to figure them out, trying to optimize them between the two operating systems. But I can tell you right now, it will definitely help. I've recently set up an Amazon page showcasing my whole system. If you guys want to check it out there, I'll put a, my link to it is on my home page. You can go see what system I'm running. And I do believe you get 5% off by purchasing anything through my store. So go check it out. I'm new to this. I don't exactly know how the Amazon store works there, but I think you do get a discount of about 5% by purchasing it. I do have Windows 8 under my software section, so check that out. I strongly recommend buying Windows 8. I'd like to also invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do how-to guides, I do strategy, and I do hardcore Battlefield 4 tactics multiple times every week to try to better, better the Battlefield 4 community as a whole, and as always. My name is Noodle, and until next time, always remember, use your Noodle.